Lakota art. For centuries, it's told a story of tradition, culture, and the Lakota way of life. Designs, colors, and techniques have been passed down through generations of family members and reflect traditions and beliefs. Each piece of Lakota art is original, unique, and one of a kind, as are the artists who create them. Art has played an important role in the day-to-day -day lives of the Lakota people. The earliest forms of traditional art, par flesh, quill work, bead work, and star quilts, were functional pieces and were a mainstay of the people. Art was used on a daily basis for survival and comfort. Today, Lakota artists continue to make functional pieces. Those masterpieces are also highly sought after by art collectors. Because of their connection to and respect for the land, the Lakota people used natural dyes and materials to create their art. Parflesh is one such art form that was created from the hides of large animals. Traditionally, parflesh containers were used for storage and transportation of various articles and were made in all sizes. The outer design and shape of the parflesh pouches often indicated its contents. Today, parflesh art is still being created and used by Native Americans. There are a few artists who work with Parflesh today. Mike Marshall is a well-known artist from the Rosebud Reservation who specializes in using natural materials to create works of art. Art became part of his life when he was a child. He uses primarily abstract Lakota designs borrowed from women's artistic tradition in his work. He also uses men's style, which is representative of personal events. The delicate art form of quill work consists of dyed porcupine quills wrapped or tacked to create or decorate various items. Some artists obtain quills the traditional way by collecting them from porcupines, while other artists rely on local trading posts to purchase their quills. Traditionally, quills were dyed with natural dyes, which is still done today. Many artists use commercial dyes in order to prevent fading. Once the quills are dried, they're used to create beautiful works of art. In all, there are six techniques for porcupine quilling, making this form of art very labor-intensive and time-consuming. The results of this work, however, are colorful, intricate designs on clothing, jewelry, and ceremonial items. Stephanie Sorbel of the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation fell in love with quill work less than 10 years ago. Although she uses many traditional methods for creating her work, she does use signature techniques that are unique to her. Stephanie has earned awards for her work at national art shows, and she understands the importance of preserving Lakota art and teaches youth and adults how to create quill work. Beadwork is an art form most often associated with Lakota and other Native American groups, an art form that ties back to the natural elements of Mother Earth. Beads were introduced to Native Americans after contact with Europeans in the early 1900s. Because beads were used for trading purposes, were easy to work with, and were available in many colors and sizes, beadwork eventually replaced much of the quill work that was done in the past. Today, beadwork continues to be created by Native Americans using traditional methods. Lakota artists are known for creating geometric designs that represent aspects of nature. One local bead worker, Gina One Star, resides on the Rosebud Reservation. As a child, she watched her mother create beautiful dance outfits for her family. 
Later, her mother taught her techniques, and soon she was creating her own designs. Gina enjoys teaching her craft to others and encourages her students to develop their own designs that are unique to each artist. A modern form of Lakota art is the star quilt, which incorporates traditional ideas of color and design along with the functionality of a usable blanket. Learning from the Amish while attending boarding schools in the 19th and early 20th centuries, Lakota women brought the star quilt back to the reservations and it became an outlet for traditional artistic values. Today, star quilts are given as gifts for the birth of a child or during special ceremonies at graduations, weddings, and memorials. Receiving a star quilt is very special and symbolizes respect and appreciation. Bonnie LeBeau and Christy Circle Eagle of the Cheyenne River Reservation both learned to make star quilts by watching their grandmothers. Now they make custom star quilts for their customers using bright colors and patterns.